It's hard to imagine, but the more I read about the Salem Witch Trials, the more accurate it really is. It seems like this couldn't happen. This has to be made up. But in fact, this, it's, this did happen, and it was this insane moment of, of mass hysteria that I think is hard to wrap our heads around um, in the modern scientific age, but it was very honest, and it happened. It's more about a man in society, you know, it's in the triptych of uh, enemy of the people and uh, death of a salesman. So it's, it's really a, a continuation of that same theme of, you know, absolutes and fundamentalism and a person trying to find themselves in a constricted environment. You know, starting out, these, these kids are being kids. They're doing what kids do. They play, they dance, they do things that they're not supposed to do. And that's why you kind of do them. And, um, and then getting caught has such huge repercussions for them. And it just starts to snowball out of control. Human nature of fear and paranoia, how that can grow and germinate inside yourself and become as real as the hand in front of my face that can just grow and block out all sensibility to you. And this is a great example of, of how if we let thoughts fester in our minds and look at them and not the tangible world, we can be in a lot of trouble. There's this mass hysteria that sweeps through the community, really. And, and there are always cooler heads. Whenever that happens, there are cooler heads that say, wait a minute, folks but they are usually drowned out and the hysteria takes over. And that's kind of what happens here and we've seen that in our history as well. We do look out, seek out devils in our community and you do um, go on witch hunts. Um, whether it's, you know, um, someone who's, you know, not your race or not your um, sexual orientation or whatever, you find this other, this other person, somebody who's on the fringes of society and you um, sort of put all of your ills and woes and blame them on them. You know, the first people they begin, you know, prosecuting are a homeless person, a drunkard, the, you know, the town drunkard, etc., etc. So it's a great lesson on understanding the need in all culture and all communities for a tolerance of the other, for a tolerance of the person who is not like you.